Hello everyone. In this video there will be experiments and unexpected results. I think many people know about this distant sensor, which works on ultrasound. It has a transmitter and a receiver of ultrasonic pulses, and the distance to the object is determined by the speed of sound in the air. I decided to do a series of experiments with another distance sensor that works in a similar way, only it emits not ultrasound but laser pulses, and for distance calculations the speed of light in the air is taken. This kind of laser rangefinder is small in size. It is also more accurate than an ultrasonic sensor because the speed of sound depends on temperature, pressure and humidity. This little box has a laser emitter and a receiver, and a microcomputer that can measure very short periods of time because the speed of light is so fast. It uses a non-visible laser with a wavelength of 940 nanometers, which is safe for the eyes because its power is very small. This sensor is relatively inexpensive on AliExpress. Below the video you will find a link to purchase this sensor. To conduct experiments, I connected the sensor to an STM32 microcontroller. I also added an LED indicator to it, which will display the measured distance. By the way, the software driver for this rangefinder is very complicated. To start distance measurements you have to load a lot of settings and calibration data. Of course, I didn't bother with it and just took the ready code from GitHub. I tried to securely fix the sensor using the materials at hand. I think it will be enough for the experiment. In the first experiment we will see what the maximum measurable distance of this rangefinder is. For this purpose, I made distance marks from the sensor. I will use a white cardboard as the object to which the distance is to be measured. If the sensor is off the scale, the symbol E is shown. If the measurement is normal, the indicator shows the distance in millimeters. The measurement is performed quite quickly. The greater the distance, the greater the measurement error. The maximum distance is about 2 meters. Beyond that, the sensor readings are off the scale. In this old camera I removed the infrared filter, so it allows to capture the radiation from the sensor. You can see that the diameter of the laser beam is quite large and increases with distance. Therefore, the display changes smoothly when a new object appears in the sensor's field of view. Because of this, this distance sensor is not suitable for creating a three-dimensional environment scanner. Such a scanner will strongly smooth out the shape of all objects. Next, I tried measuring short distances to a white sheet of paper, checking with a ruler. The readings jump about plus and minus 3 millimeters, even if the object is not move. But on average, the repeatability of the readings is good. Even when the power is turned on and off, the values stay the same. Repeatability is an important thing when measuring. The minimum distance is about 20 millimeters. If you press the sheet completely against the sensor, it also shows about 20 millimeters. Apparently, the signal scatters on the paper and reaches the receiver. I also tried taking a tree as an object. I did not notice any changes in the readings. Then I got a black carbon filter, which has a lot of pores in it, but the sensor worked quite well even with that surface. With the black cloth there were no special problems either, the readings were stable and correct. Apparently, infrared radiation is reflected quite well from such a black surface, although visible light is almost all absorbed. The next object was transparent plastic. And that's where things got weird. The sensor is stable enough to show the measured values, but they are not correct at all. 
At a distance of 3 cm from the sensor the values become zero. It seems as if the laser pulse through the portal goes into the past and its travel time is zero. But the farther the object is from the sensor, the more correct the values become, although there is still a large margin of error. I assume that the laser must either reflect or pass through the plastic, so the value should either be normal or they shouldn't be. Write in the comments your opinion about this sensor behavior. If you put the plate close to the sensor and measure the distance to a non-transparent object, the values become slightly larger than in reality. It is as if the distance value is multiplied by some coefficient. Anyway, the result was unusual and I can't even explain it. Next, I took a 10mm thick glass plate. The same strange things happen with it as with transparent plastic. There are distance values, but they are wrong and in some position from the sensor the readings are equal to zero. Next, I tried pointing the sensor at the mirror, and there were no more oddities here. If the mirror is perpendicular to the laser beam, the readings are equal to the distance to the mirror. If the mirror is turned sideways, then the distance to the object that is reflected in the mirror at that angle is measured. This way you can scan the space by moving the mirror rather than the sensor itself. Although the sensor is small, so there is no point in using a mirror. For the next experiment, I took a plastic light fiber. This is an interesting thing that conducts light from one end to the other. If you shine a light into one end, you can see the light in the other end, which runs along the entire length of the fiber. I cut a fragment of such a light fiber with a length of 50 centimeters. The ends are not perfect, but it will be okay for the experiment. I directed one end of the light fiber to the sensor emitter and the other end to the sensor receiver. In this way, we can measure the length of the light fiber. The reading came out to be somewhere between 35 and 40 centimeters. This is considerably less than 50 centimeters. If one end of the light fiber is moved away, the values increase slightly. Considering that the speed of light in plastic is slower than in air, the readings should be increasing, not decreasing. Because of this, that's a strange thing too. Most likely, the scattering of the laser and pulses hitting the receiver not only passed through the light fiber, but also reflected from the ends and scattered inside the light fiber. The last experiment I did with this sensor was with water. I wanted to see if the sensor would measure the distance to the surface of the water into an object underwater, so I took the aquarium, put the sensor above it and started pouring water. At first the readings didn't change, but then they decreased to some wrong values. It seems that the laser beam is scattered in the water and pulses from different points in the water volume are returned to the receiver. After averaging, some incorrect value is obtained. If you create waves on the surface of the water, the distance values change randomly. The distance to an opaque object on the surface of the water is measured correctly, but if the object is underwater, the values become incorrect. If the sensor is placed close to the glass of the aquarium with water, you get an interesting effect. Without an object, it shows some minimum distance. But if there is an object in the water, the values first increase and then decrease as the object approaches the sensor. I wonder what the sensor would show if there were fish swimming in the aquarium. I don't have fish, so this is the end of the experiments. What do you think can be made from this sensor? Write your ideas in the comments, I'll be interested to read. Bye everyone and see you on my channel.